Hey you guys, it is Pastor Dawn and I have a quick prophetic word for you and it is just let God do it and relax into his timing. Just let God do it and relax into his timing. First of all, I want to say that um, it is after nine o'clock at night. I never make videos this late because I'm an early morning person and I always feel like my energy is better early in the morning after I've had prayer and um, something happened with my ring light, so I don't have the best lighting. So anyway, but I just really felt impressed by the Lord that I needed to go ahead and record this video and publish it tonight. Okay, so just let God do it. You guys, we live in such a, um, we live in such an instant gratification culture that when we are asking God to do something in us or through us or for us, we are often wanting quick, immediate results. And I'm going to tell you something. Anything that is worthwhile, anything that is of significant value, anything that um, is truly quality or excellent does not come immediately just like that all right so I feel like on my channel I feel like I share a good mix of strong encouragement and faith filled messages that will tell you to believe in the best from God and of God but I also feel like I share the realities of that you know God af often has to work through our mess he has to work through our humanness. He has to work through our negative belief systems as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So that miracle that you're wanting from God, a lot of times you have to even believe that it's possible for you to even receive it from God. And we don't always understand our participation in the miracle that if we're not believing right, that we're not going to see it happen. And I hadn't planned on going there, but anyway. So when I say just let God do it, all right, so whatever it is in your life that you are trusting God for, if you need a miracle in your finances, if you need a miracle in your health, if you need a miracle in a relationship, if you need a miracle in a situation, the first thing I want to say is that you are going to have to let God do it. And what I mean by letting God do it is you're going to have to take your hands off of it. You're going to have to give it to him. And you're going to have to trust him that he will bring it to pass in his timing. You guys, his timing is not always our timing. A lot of times we want something just like that. And I, I'm i just going to be straight with you. I'm just going to be honest with you so that you're not like in this fairy tale fantasy faith world expecting everything to happen overnight and then getting frustrated, getting mad at God, throwing in the towel when it doesn't happen immediately. And so I'm going to be honest enough to tell you that it doesn't always happen immediately. There are often things that have to, um, there are often things that have to take place either in our lives or in the lives of others or in the situation or what have you. And that doesn't mean that God isn't good. And it doesn't mean that he's not at work and it doesn't mean that he's abandoned us. And it doesn't mean that he's, that he's not working for us. He is. So when I say just let God do it, what I really mean is give God the time and the space to do what is necessary to bring about the miracle that you want, to do what is necessary to bring about the deliverance or the change that you want. So, and then when I say, um, you really kind of have to surrender to his timing. It's not just accept his timing. You have to surrender to his timing. You guys, there are some things that God spoke to me specifically that he promised to me years ago and I'm just now in this year seeing the manifestation of some of those things and when he promised them to me years ago I didn't understand that he was promising something that was in the future that I had to walk through a process through to receive the manifestation of those promises and those miracles. Now, yes, there's many times that God does things in, in the split of a second, right? 
But I will say that most things that are truly significant, that are truly monumental in our life, those things that are truly life-changing and life-altering, nine times out of ten, those things don't happen overnight. And so when I say that you need to surrender to the timing of God, you have to surrender to the timing of God when I mean you need to, when I say just let him do it, give it to him. Surrender it to him. Say, Father God, I trust you that your word says thus and so. And I believe it to be true. And I am trusting you that no matter how long it takes for me to see the manifestation of that blessing or that miracle or that promise or whatever, that I'm not growing, go, number one, I'm not going to grow weary in well-doing. And if I feel like my strength is beginning to wane, then instead of trying to muster my own courage or muster my own strength, I'm going to call out to you, God, because your word says that your grace is sufficient for me and your power is made perfect in my weakness. So, Father God, when I feel like my strength is waning, I'm going to lean into your strength and I'm going to ask you for more grace and more strength. Number two, this is really important. I'm not going to go grow bitter or have a complaining, critical spirit while I'm waiting on the timing of God. You guys, that is, I, I, I talk a lot about the, the trauma healing journey that I went through several years ago and how it's had such a significant change in my life. And one of the things I had to learn in that season was that I had a grumbling, complaining attitude. I had a bitter, just yucky, just complaining and grumbling spirit. And God lovingly showed me the nation of Israel over and over and over again. You know, they had left Egypt. God had done these amazing miracles. And they grumbled and complained through the wilderness for years and years and years. And it took them 40 years to get somewhere that I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think the journey should have only taken like a couple of weeks or something like that. Anyway, whatever. But they kept circling around the same mountain because of their rotten, stinking attitude. They couldn't just be grateful and thankful that God was providing for their needs. They couldn't just be grateful and thankful for all of the miracle, miraculous wonders he had done thus far. They couldn't just be grateful and thankful that he had freed them from slavery and now he was, now he was teaching them how to be uh, children of the Most High God again. And so, you guys, if you are going to surrender to the timing of God in certain things that you are giving to him and you are letting him either take you through the pro whatever, whatever has to happen, whether it's you that has to be processed or somebody else that has to be processed or something that has to be learned or just whatever. If you're going to surrender to the timing of God, then you're going to have to learn how to do so with a grateful and thankful heart. And you're going to have to guard your heart against a grumbling, complaining, critical spirit. Yeah, I said all that. <laughs> and then, Lord, what was the third part? Um, to me. All right. Well, um, I have some scriptures that I'm going to link in the description of this video. Um, I hope that my openness and my realness, um, I always want to, to bring you encouraging messages from God. But I also want to give you the truth. And the truth of the matter is, is that walking with God is, is, is not for the things of heart. And we don't always get what we want when we want it, how we want it. But if we will align our heart with his, God is such a good God. He's such a good father. He will lead and guide us by his spirit into all things that are magnificently wonderful and good. He will lead and guide us by his spirit, with his grace, with his mercy, with his peace, with his joy. We are the ones that have to choose to surrender to the process. Okay, I guess that's what it is. Surrender to the process. Oh, that was the third part. Okay, so if you're going to just let God do it, if you're going to put it in his hands, if you're going to let him drive the bus and direct the journey 
and you're going to surrender to his timing, then that means you have to surrender to the process. And part of that is knowing that there's sometimes in life, there is a Kairos time. There is a Kairos moment. There is an appointed time that God has for certain things in our life. Um, if you look at the life of Joseph, Joseph went through, I, think, I don't know if I'm quoting this correctly, but he was in prison either 11 or 13 years. I, I think it was 13 years. You guys, God prophesied over him long before he was ever sold by his brothers that he was going to be a ruler, that he, you know, that that um, the people were going to come and bow down. He was going to be this, you know, huge ruling magistrate, right? I think it was 13. He went through 11 or 13 years of prison before he got to the fulfillment of that promise. If you look at Abram, who became Abraham and Sarah, God prophesied over them that they were going to have the promised child. Excuse me, Abraham, Jake, Isaac, and Jake, Isaac, right? But what was it, 24, 25 years later before they had that promised child? If you guys, if you look at, um, if you look at, uh, what's her name, Ruth. No, not Ruth, I'm sorry. Esther, Queen Esther. You guys her becoming queen didn't happen overnight. You guys, anything significantly, amazingly wonderful almost always has a process. We have to surrender to the timing of the process. We have to surrender to the processing of the process. You know, how God is processing us, <laughs> how he is changing us. And so when I say just let God do it, what I'm really saying is surrender it to him. All right. I pray that in some way, shape, or form that this message um, is actually encouraging to you. So um, I'm going to pray for you guys really quickly. Um, I do want to say if you are new to the channel, please um, give me some love in the comments. Say hello. Let me know that you're new to the channel. You guys, if this message blessed you or spoke to you, give me some love in the comments. Let me know how this, I don't know, helped you or impacted you today. Um, if you have not subscribed, please, please subscribe to those that are already part of this, uh, the family on this channel, please make sure that you like comment, share. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, hit the notification bell for instant notifications, please do that. And, um, let's see. Oh, those of you that faithfully support, um, the, the ministry with your faithful prayers, those of you that sow financial seeds, uh, faith seeds and love offerings, I thank you so much. I love you so much. I appreciate all of you. Um, if if the message of this of this particular video really met you where you're at, then I would encourage you to sow a faith seed or love offering into this message. You can the giving links are in the description below, or you can just go to my website at dawnchurchill.org. All right, I think that's all. I'm going to pray for y'all. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, even as I have on multiple, 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 too many times that I can count, I've had to surrender to the process again and again and again. I've had to surrender to your timing again and again and again. In those moments when things weren't happening as quickly as I wanted to and the way that I wanted to and... I wasn't seeing the fulfillment of your promises immediately and, and I was becoming discouraged and disheartened, Father God, in each of those moments as I chose to give you all of that frustration and all of my questions and even some of the anxieties that I was feeling, you would come into those moments and you would speak tenderly to my heart and you would encourage me again that I was indeed on the right track, but that there were just things that needed to happen in the process Father God, in Jesus' name, I ask that you would give each and every person under the sound of my voice the wisdom and the revelation and the knowledge that if they will just keep walking it out with you, you will bring all things together. You will work all things together for their good, God. Father God, for those that are weary, I ask, Lord, that you would strengthen them by your grace. 
I pray that they would choose every morning to rise up and to call you blessed and to find five to ten things that they can verbalize and thank you for and praise you for and that they can be grateful for while they're walking through the process of whatever it is that they're walking through. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you would give them the ability to push away a disgruntled, bitter, complaining, grud begrudging heart. And that they would choose to be grateful for the many ways in which you show up in their lives every day. Most of all, Father God, I pray your love and your joy and your peace in every part of their lives. God, I ask that you would um, expand them, that you would increase them, that you would make your face to shine upon them. Father God, I ask that you would minister your light and your glory into every cell of their body, into every part of their mind, will, and emotions. Father God, I ask that you would pour out your goodness upon them in, in every conceivable way. Lord, I ask that you would bless them physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, financially, relationally. Father God, in Jesus' name, I ask that you bring uh, your perfect will to pass in their lives at the appointed time in the Kairos moments that you have already preordained for them. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name.